Hello guys, Matthew here and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. I've decided to do a little bit of a different video this time, a sort of a gadget oriented one where I take a look at some interesting products which could come in handy in your everyday use. So let's kick things off right away. This gorgeous looking black aluminum housing comes from Silverstone and behind it hides a product which goes by the name of TS-15. At first you would probably think that this is some kind of power bank, but it's actually more closer to an external storage unit. I say closer because it actually doesn't have a hard drive in it, but you rather have to put it in for yourself. You're probably wondering why you would do that, you can always buy an external drive as a finished product, but that's not the case here. Although it is, it's a case after all, get it? A case? Okay, let's continue and forget about this awful pun. Beside having the flexibility of using it for any 2.5 inch drive, which you need to access using a USB connection, you can easily install it using this really cute small screwdriver and screws which come in the bundle. This particular model also comes with USB Type-C port, which supports USB 3.1 Gen 1 standard, giving you the theoretical bandwidth of 625 megabytes per second and making it ideal for putting an SSD in it and transforming it into high-speed external storage. But that's actually not the best feature of this enclosure. The best thing about it, as you've probably noticed by now, is that it has multiple USB Type-C and Type-A ports, four in total, two of each. One USB Type-A connector, the red one, is for delivering up to 1.5 amps of current, so basically you can charge your devices off of it when the enclosure is connected to a PC. The second blue USB Type-A port is for connecting connecting other devices to it, like for example another external drive or even a mouse, so basically it's a pass-through port. The main USB Type-C port is for connecting the enclosure itself to an end device, and you'll get a two-way USB Type-C cable with it, while the other USB Type-C port can deliver up to 60 watts. For example, this way you can connect this drive to a laptop, let's say you want to transfer something, but you also want to charge your smartphone, but there's no available ports on the laptop anymore, you can then connect your smartphone to that USB type A or C port on the enclosure itself and you're good to go. Bottom line, this is a really handy multifunctional gadget. If you're not a do-it-yourself type of guy or girl, or if you want to have something smaller but equally fast, Plexter has something which fits that exact description. That's their EX1 external SSD, which is no bigger than a Snickers bar, actually it's even smaller. It weighs in at around 30 grams, the build quality is really good, it uses aluminum housing and has plastic caps on each side, one of which glows in blue when the drive is connected and active. It also has a Type-C connector on it, for which you'll get a USB Type-C to USB Type-A cable, together with this nice pouch for carrying it around. Sequential read and write speeds are impressive, as you can see it here for yourself, definitely stomping on your average USB stick with over 500 megabytes per second of read and write performance. And the only complaint I have about it is that they didn't use an integrated connector or a cable type solution, rather than having to carry this cable around with you. This one has 120 GB of capacity, and that's actually the smallest one, but you can also get a 256 or 512 GB one if you need more storage. Speaking of powering things up, for my next gadget I have yet another product from Silverstone, the UC01. Yeah, I know, I see a pattern here, they kinda need a better naming scheme for their products. This little white brick thingy is getting pretty common nowadays, as a lot of devices are USB charged, so to avoid having a cluster of different charging bricks, you can use this one fairly small but good looking powerhouse, carrying 5 USB Type-A ports. It's essentially a smartphone charger, but on steroids. You just need to connect it on one end to your standard outlet and on the other end you can charge up to 5 devices, while it also has Silverstone's Power IQ technology that can detect which type of device is connected to it and feeds it the appropriate and optimal amount of charging current, up to 2.4 amps per port, together with overcurrent, overvoltage and short circuit protection. 
Lastly, for my final gadget, I have the Zeus USB charger from the company called Nonda. Yes, another charging device, but this is not your ordinary car charger. Okay, sure, in a way it is, because it has two quick charge USB type A ports for charging, which are actually reversible, you can connect the cable both ways, but it also has a Bluetooth and control module, which combined with an app, provides you with a location of your car, if you, for example, forgot where you've parked it. The app itself has a clean design, it's simple to use, and straightforward while it's really accurate and it can provide parking meter alert or even monitor your car battery health which is a welcomed bonus. Overall it's a great little gadget, very sleek looking, sturdy and well made, combined with a few different functionalities and that's always appreciated in my book. That's it guys for this time from me, hope you like this new type of video, it was short but useful, at least I think it was, I plan to make them from time to time, so feel free to leave your suggestions down below. Don't forget to toss me a thumbs up if you like what you saw, that really helps me a lot, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about these products, and of course feel free to subscribe for content further down the line, or you can just check out some of my other videos from before. Until then, catch you later guys!